today. Uh, as you guys might have noticed, got a new intro. Today I went to GameStop and uh, picked up two guys. Picked up the Grand Ultra and the Gray Spartan Hezop. So, guys, go check your local GameStops. They they have a lot of the single figures. Uh, as for the two packs, I have not found the rest of them so far, but I have most of Series 1. So, just get into the box real quick. It says that it has 22 moving parts. Right here, it's just a picture of the grunt. Comes with, shows a nice little kind of preview of what accessories he gets and what is removable, such as his gas mask, his actual mask, and his tank. He comes with three, uh, what's it, right there, plasma grenades, and a plasma pistol, which is kind of hard to see. Has a nice still basic simple box look to it of series one that's about it for the box uh, let me get this guy open real quick and uh, do a review all right so I got this guy unboxed fairly easy he's very easy to assemble except for the backpack that is the reason I'm not gonna take it off during this video but it is removable as you guys saw during the when he was in the box now you guys know, obviously know that this is removable and stuff, and I'll show you how easy it is to actually put it on, but let me get into articulation real quick. You can move in the waist somewhat a little bit, but not that great as you can see. I mean, it looks more of nothing. That is because of his right here and the backpack, which is probably why you can't twist it. His, move, his legs do move up and down. Okay. The only reason I'm moving them really slow is because they're very small. And then also in the knee. But they don't move left and right, so that's the only flaw about that. Up here, you can go up and down, left and right, okay? And so can the, the elbow joint, you can go up and down, but it can't twist. So articulation is limited on this figure, but that's because it, he is smaller and he doesn't really have too many poses that you can do with him. So, I mean, if you want, you can always put his two hands up with your two uh, plasma grenades in there, but that's up to you. You can make him a suicide ground. Now, the detail on this figure mostly looks like it's battle damage or he's been in dirt or uh, dirt places. Because he's supposed to be white, as far as I know. It's possible that McFarlane just got that wrong. Also, it's the first set to have the plasma pistol. It has very nice detail. Even has the little nice gray on the top with a little point up, which is in the game for those of you who were wondering. Nice orange stripes that are nice and, you know, noticeable. Also nice little black there. So overall, very nice detail. The, what's it called? The skin for the grunt looks very realistic, very believable that, you know, you just, he's actually here. It's a nice 3D model of him. Like I said, though, backpack is a little back heavy, but his legs, his little legs or little feet do keep him up. For some reason, he does stay up fairly well. I mean, if you get him to... A certain position he can stand very nicely now to show you guys how easy it is to actually remove the helmet and how, how is how easy it is to put on it's gonna put this up take it up and it pops off then you have like a normal looking grunt okay and then go ahead and take this off just by simply tugging on it a little bit and that comes off which reveals a very nice looking grunt face as you can see here guys the mouth is nice and red inside. You can see his little teeth. And also, they did make an addition to the gas mask. Last time, there's a little plug they went in and they shoved it in. Now it looks like he's just kind of biting on something. But it, it does stay in there very well for most of the time. I mean, I can jerk him up and down and he's not, it's not going to fall off. So, the decision is really yours on if you want him to have that mask and or you know not. Also, you can make him an ultra or just kind of a regular looking grunt. I like him with the mask personally a little bit more because he looks really cool. But like I said, fairly easy to reassemble and everything. Just the only thing that wasn't easy was the backpack, which is why I'm not taking it off. Overall, this is a very nice figure. He is a lot taller than the regular grunt or the normal grunt that you got in Halo 3. Now, there are a few flaws that I, I thought about this figure. Um, he comes with three for... Um, plasma grenades as you can see here three of them and he has no place to put them yeah I'm just gonna pick him up real quick guys see if I can stand him he's not gonna stand anytime soon 
I mean, he, for the most part, he does stand fairly well, though. I mean, this is the first time he's actually fallen. Also, he comes with a peg, and there's no one where to put the peg. So, really, you're left with three extra plasma grenades and an extra peg. Now, this is the reason I had so many, you know, leftover weapons and everything from Halo 3. is because of little things like that, but overall, it's not a big deal. This figure is a very nice figure and definitely is worth the $10. It's not the small grunt that you're used to. It is a lot bigger, a lot, you know, more worth the money, I guess, more than anything. It's not bigger, a lot more detailed, and has a lot more features. So he is definitely worth the pickup. You have to get him fast, though, because he will run out, and he will become more of a collector's item once he does stop. So that's it for this review. Saying see ya.